Do you want to know how to earn money on Captera by writing short reviews and if it's really worth it? Then this video is for you. My name is Michael and I'm always looking for different ways to make money online and I came across some crazy claims about how much money you can earn on Captera. There's a lot of videos with a lot of really hyped information about this. So I decided to test it myself. And let me just reveal right away that I have actually managed to earn $10 just for writing a short review that took me less than five minutes. So it does pay and it is an option. It is a way to earn, but you do need to do it with the right expectations because it's not an option for all. And I will go over all this in this video. So let's start by going over the basics of what Captera is, because when you go to the website, you can see that it's a website that helps you find the right software for your business. So it is aimed towards businesses that are looking for different software they need to run their business. And the way it does that is, for example, by comparing different options. And there's a lot of reviews from actually users so people can find out if it's something they should use or not. And that is where this earning option to earn as someone writing a review comes in. So let's go over how you potentially can earn by doing that. So on the website, you can see there's something called write a review. And if you click here, this is where you can write a software review. And then in many cases, you will get paid. And in many cases, also $10 for a short review. I've seen sometimes also examples of where they pay quite a lot more, but it's also not all of them that will pay you for doing this. But it's important to understand that this is not something you can just go and write unlimited reviews. We'll talk a little bit more about this, how much you can earn later. But what you can do is, first of all, what you need to be sure of is that you actually use some of these tools. Personally, I do use some of them to run my online business and therefore I can give honest feedback about it. And this is important. If you do not give, you see, a specific and in-depth review, yeah, it will not get approved. You will not get paid. It will not be published. And that is just something you need to be aware of. But what you would need to do is that you would need to find a tool that you are using. You can see this is just the first page. You can also load more and see even more. And then you would need to click it. There's many of these I, I don't know I'm not using, but for example, Slack I am using. So then what I could do here is that I can sign in there. Or I can sign in with LinkedIn, fill out my name, email address, industry, all these different things here. And then I just need to go through it. And, and then the next pages, you can see the three pages. I need to share more about how I use the tool, what I like, what I don't like about it. It takes, you know, like maybe five minutes to fill out. Uh, I did this for Grammarly. I'll show you uh, the payment proof of that in just a minute. But this is what you need to do. You need to go through all this. But what is very important is that you need to have actually experience with the tool that you are going to review. You can just not just make up stuff. They can figure that out. You will then not get any rewards. It will not be published, anything like that. So that's very important to understand. And also there are a few other things you need to consider. So let's go over that also. You see they have these tips for writing reviews and you need to live up to all this here. They have all these uh, guidelines. You see, for example, if you review products that you actually have in uh, or that you uh, own <laughs> like of course you shouldn't review that or if you work for them or a competitor don't write abusive hateful don't include others personal info you know keep the focus on the software uh, don't promote or you know because review sites like this people try to use all kind of tricks to promote themselves or talk bad about competitors all these things here don't do that if you want to use it you need to be honest that is the main thing you just need to remember. Don't try to do any tricks, anything like that. But let me also just show you now what then happens once you've submitted an, a review. I have done that, so I'll just jump into my inbox and show you. So you can see now here, I am inside my inbox. I have submitted one uh, review there uh, for a tool called Grammarly that I use uh, daily. It's uh, one that helps you with the grammar mistakes and all kinds of things like that. It's a very useful tool actually. Uh, but anyways, this is not about that tool here. But this is what happens once I published it. And you see then it says here, what can you then expect? And that is very important. So they do not guarantee that your review will be published. And I mine actually 
has been approved. I will show you that uh, in, in just a minute here. But I just want to make it clear that there's no guarantee that will happen. Even if you've been honest, there's no guarantee. It will be screened by their team so they can see it. And it can take up to three weeks. For me, it took maybe a week and a half or so, I think. But it can take up to three weeks. And also be aware that not, not all offers are incentive offers. So you need to be aware that you also need to claim the gift card if you are approved and you have done one of the reviews where it offers you an incentive. So let me then just uh, jump and show you the email I got because mine got approved. I did get one of these gift cards. So you see, this is the email I got and it says congratulations because I actually got approved there and now I can then select it and I need to claim my reward. So I'll just do that. So I haven't done it yet because I want to wait and record while I did it. And you can see here, there's also a gift card FAQ. This is important to also just go over there. So you know a little bit, you know, that only if it's published, you will get a gift card, uh, all these different things there. You see that there can be some reasons why you might not get it because not all offers has an incentive and it can be a little bit difficult in my experience to find out which one has it and which one doesn't and how much you potentially get. And also you see there can be other reasons. For example, the gift card quantity limits maybe were reached or after the campaign deep deadline and uh, things like this. And also you need to click this link. I, for example, I'm told if I didn't do that, within 30 days, then I would be able to claim it. So what I then need to do is to just click here and you can see I had a review of Grammarly and I got a $10 reward. It literally took me you know, less than five minutes to do the review because it was easy for me. I am using the tool every day so I know how to do it. So then I just need to click to claim the reward. And you can see then the challenge for me is here that I would get a gift card for Amazon.com and, uh, and, and that's what it is most of the times from what I've been able to find out is that it's for Amazon. It can sometimes be something else, but also you can see I'm located in Europe and it says they can't provide a reward option that is specific to where I live. And, and this is of course an issue because Amazon.com, well, you know, it's not necessarily that useful for me. But of course I can use it to get some kind of uh, what you call like electronic reward or something like that. But that's just something to be aware of. So you might not, depending on the country, be able to get something specifically for your country. And then you see, then I claimed it and then I can redeem my gift card now or later via an email from Tango card I received. So, um, so you know, that is, is how I'm supposed to do it then. And when I click that, you see, then I just need a security code here. And this is something I will receive an email. You just need to do this to unlock it. And then you will get the gift card code that you can use. And, and that can be a way to then get gift cards by writing short reviews. But is it really worth it? Let's just sum it all up and reflect a little bit on that. So in many ways, I think Captera is an interesting website and I do like it in general. I would say it's it's useful site to share your experiences. But if you're looking for just earning by writing reviews, I would not say this is a good option. It can give you a little bit extra, but you should only do it if you're really interested in sharing your opinion and have experience about this software. If you just in general want to earn more by writing reviews, because you will not earn a lot by doing this and you will only earn gift cards. But if you want to potentially build it into a full-time income to write reviews for yourself, then I would recommend to start your own online business. I have a lot of reviews that I make a, a good money from both on my website and YouTube channel. I'll leave a link below to uh, more information about how you can learn to do that yourself. It will take effort and time. You will not just start earning after five minutes. It will take a long time to learn everything, to implement it and put in effort. But if you're willing to do that, that can potentially give you a really good full-time income. So that's what I would recommend if you are just in for writing reviews or writing online in general, or making videos where you share your experiences and build it into a really good income. So you can check that out. But also if you're just looking for Amazon gift cards, because that's mainly what you can get on Cantera, then I also have more information about ways you can do that fairly easily where you can just start doing it right away where there's not the same limits as there are on Captera. I'll also, also leave a link to more information about that below. So no matter your preferences, you can check out that below. But as you can see, Captera is a way to potentially earn by writing reviews, but it is not for all, whether it's for you or not really depends on your expectations. 
And I hope this video helped you figure out if it's for you or not. And if it did, then make sure to hit the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out next time. There's a video with tips and tricks about different ways to make money online.